title is Geef mij maar nasi goreng from Witeke van Dort or Tante Lien and this is part of it because if not it's gonna be a really long video so I make I will make it in several videos and now I will try to sing it but disclaimer I'm not Dutch I'm not native and this is the best I can do the way I pronounce and moreover when I have to sing it in a normal face my G will not be perfect at all because I don't have Hermione necklace to stop the time and to collect my liquid from all of entire sources that I have within my body so it's gonna be the and that is the best I can do because I don't know how to explain it I don't know how to work harder because it's just cannot so this is the best I can do okay Geen lontong sate babi and niet smak hier pedes Geen trasi serundeng bandeng and geen tahu petis Kue lapis onde onde hen ketela of bapau Geen ketan geen gula jawa darom ya ik seh nao Yeah, I cannot say or sing it like and geen lontong sate babi and it's more here but this yeah I don't have I cannot have to wait for a couple to prepare and then okay ready yeah that is impolite so the way I sing it is the best I can do thank you so much for the understanding and now these words in red is in Dutch the words in black color is in Indonesian Dutch version of Indonesian because sometimes it is different with Indonesian ones it's whether these ones follow the old spelling of Indonesian letters that inherited from Dutch colony time or era my grandpa my grandparents era because there was time when my parents were I, I forgot about how how old were they at that time there is some um, a, a new spelling system was introduced and the whole entire country has to learn the new spelling system it's the newest one so this one is whether it's the old one follow the old one at that era the old spelling or it's just different okay Geen is no. Geen no. Or can be also nothing. The difference between geen and needs. I've already made a video, or maybe some. I kind of forgot. I will put the link below. I made video out of it. Geen. And this one, N is N. There's interesting thing here. In Indonesia, the letter of this word consists same letters in English. D A N N. It's just scrambled, and the, but it's. Oh, of course it will be pronounced as done but in Dutch completely or a bit different letters but the way you pronounce it quite similar with English and okay and this one needs nothing the Indonesian Lontong is rice cake. I don't know how to explain that 
because in Dutch, I think they use the same, but they pronounce it different. Lontong. In Indonesia, lontong. Okay. And this one, in Indonesian, whether it is pig or pork, we use the same word, which is babi. It is also the same in Dutch, whether for pig or pork, is varken. And in English, of course, it is different for pig and pork. And this sate, in Indonesian sate, in Dutch, sometimes sate, sometimes satay, sometimes sate, yeah. In English, sometimes satay. Okay, now this one. Tastes, in Dutch, Smoked. Don't forget the kt, kt. Sometimes when I try to pronounce it in a quick way, smoked, and then the kt, 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 apparently didn't. It, it was not so strong, so I was like, the come on, the kt, kt. okay. So don't forget that one. It's the same with English. Taste. Taste and in Dutch, smoked, smoked, yeah. And now this is the same. Okay, here in Dutch, here, here, yeah. And this one in Indonesian, it should be pedas or pedas. I don't know why in Dutch it become with this letter because in Indonesia it's whether with A or with E. So I don't know why it becomes like this, but yeah, it's supposed to be spicy or hot. Yeah, I don't put the Dutch version here. It's supposed to be hate, hate. Okay, because in this song they use this word. Which is kind of like absorbed from Indonesian, but the Indonesian one is pedas, or in daily conversation or casual, we rarely say it as well. Sometimes we say pedas, but we just say pedas. Why? Because when you have to say pedas, you don't have to move your tongue, you don't have to move your mouth, you just continue what you have before. The when you say the ped ped. But this, uh, so your your mouth will be the, at the same situation. Whether when you have to say pedas, you have to move your mouth a bit bigger. Uh, pedas, okay. Pedas the same. So easier, faster, quicker, understandable. Okay, that's how slang or daily conversation may be created in that way. And this one, the shrimp paste. The word itself in Indonesia is terasi, but in Dutch it becomes trashi, trashi. Yeah. This is the Dutch version of Indonesian of spiced toasted coconut. It's kind of topping that you sprinkle on top of your rice, white rice. In Indonesia is Sarundeng in Indonesian, in Dutch, Shrundeng, and the Indonesian version is Bandeng, the English one is Milkfish, in Dutch, Milkfish, Fish. Okay, this one is the same, this one is the same. Indonesian is this one, tahu, the English one is tofu, and the Dutch one is with these letters. Why? Because the Indonesian old spelling that was inherited from, spelling system that was inherited from Dutch, the colony era, was these words, all these letters also. But the new spelling system, 
this one replace into this one when I said new it's not completely new for new generation for me also already because it was changed during my parents maybe when they were 20 something or so or 20 ish or so yeah so it's called as new but it's already replaced quite long time ago decades ago and this patis is different it's not the same with this one terasi because it is black that's why I put it here black shrimp paste but this the taste is different if you compare with this one and also it came from different kind of area so you might want to check about it but if you want to make a you want to make some food I suggest you just buy it buy authentic food from restaurant or don't try to make it yourself in the first time because I'm afraid you might not like even though you follow the the recipe but I don't know I just that's my suggestion okay this one cookie in Indonesia kue and they said that cookie is cookie in Dutch and sometimes it's hebak or hebaken or hebakil for pastry and this layer in Indonesian is lapis in Dutch is lach and this word lach is used for layer and also for shallow or low not deep yeah I don't know how to explain this kue lapis or in Indonesian kue lapis because in Dutch is kue kue in Indonesian kue kue you might want to search the picture of it kue and then lapis layer cake but it is not the same with layer cake in English term and this one on the on the this is the same bowl Indonesian has it and it's also in Thailand and it's also in Singapore and in the Philippines in Japan but they have different name to call it and it is originate from China in Chinese or Mandarin it is pronounced as well I will try to pronounce it I apologize in advance if I pronounce it not in a perfect way Chen Tui Chen Tui because in Chinese or Mandarin this letter is pronounced as Chi Chi and this letter is pronounced as T Chen Tui Chen Tui This one is the same and cassava in Indonesian is ketela or the word that we use it all the time is singkong sing kong sing singing without ing king kong without king sing kong but in Dutch is ketela ketela the Indonesian version of this word in Dutch of course in Dutch they have different word for it for cassava and this one in Indonesian is atau in English is or in Dutch is of of in daily conversation I tend to pronounce this as of of but if you're really in the zone you will pronounce because sometimes I just pronounce it off off but if you really want to try to be a bit perfect but of course I'm not perfect I will never be able to pronounce it in a perfect way but the best I can do maybe in kind of this way off 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 like that yeah. and this one 
Bakpao in Indonesian is bakpao. Bakpao. It is originated from Chinese or Mandarin. In Mandarin is pao or pao shi. Pao shi. Pao shi. Yeah, the shi is should be like that. It's not shi, but shi, shi, pao shi. I apologize if it's not correct. Pao shi. Yeah, this letter is pronounced as p. More into the p. That's why it is the Beijing. It is more into Beijing. 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 This one is the same, and this one. I rarely pronounce this word. This word I pronounce most of the time. It's rice, sticky rice. This is the sticky, and this is the rice. The rice itself, if I pronounce it for daily conversation, I just pronounce it as rice, 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 rice. But the quote. Perfect should be rest, rest. Can you imagine if I have to think and try to pronounce it in the correct way? I will be a really slow Dutch speaking person because for almost every word I have to do rest. Can you imagine people have to wait and then it is still not good enough? So yeah, this is rest. Rest. Yeah. This word I really pronounce it, so I will try. Clayfrog. 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 Rest. In Indonesian, ketan. Okay. This one, sugar. In Dutch is sauker, daily conversation, but should be sa sauker, sauker, sauker. Yeah, daily conversation sauker should be sa sauker. The Indonesian one is gula. Dutch version of Indonesian gula 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 Indonesian gula and this Java is Jawa Jawa but this is the old spelling of Indonesian. Because in Indonesia now it's become this one, and this one is the one that inherited from Dutch era, the colony era. It pronounced as Jawa, 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 Jawa. Indonesian Jawa. Okay, but in Indonesian we use this term, which is gula merah instead of gula Jawa. Gula merah. The merah itself is red. Gula merah. In Indonesian, you pronounce the noun first and then the adjective. It's the other way around with Dutch and also English. And red in Dutch is rood or rood. Rood if you have the noun. Or the second word becomes rode and then something. Now this one. That's why or therefore, darom, darom, darom. Yeah. If you change or replace this letter with w, it becomes. Warung. It's one of my favorite Dutch word that I kind of use it 
often but I think after I made some videos about confessing about it I think people might notice and they will kind of be aware when I whenever I say it War room is why with that simple word you say war room and you give expression with your face about like why it makes people think and you you kind of can expect quite good quality answer from that or some people might say this oh just because that's it that's it but can you imagine if you keep asking the why 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 and then they have to say that's it that's it that's it they will feel like they're being hypnotized or something because it is interesting you say something and I ask what wrong and then of course they have to explain about the why the reason be behind that one it's out of curiosity of me of mine and also sometimes I just want to know yeah this curiosity and and it's nice right make people think so the the answer will not be super shallow just like you know yeah I, I like to answer that to 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 ask that waru yeah and this one the old spelling of this it becomes this now the 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 new one is this one that's why in Indonesian we also have this word it becomes ya yeah. in English is yes in Dutch it's written this way because this letter is this in Indonesian now ya yeah. in Dutch ya yeah. in Indonesian ya yeah. in English yes and this I in Dutch ik okay this one say in Dutch but again in daily conversation I kind of tend to say say because I was lucky before I pronounce it this this seconds ago I have quite enough liquid in my mouth so I can say but it this is not all the time this is sometimes it's seh seh yeah and now this one in english is now now but the quote perfect one supposed to be now now okay thank you